Well, good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, or whatever time of day you're watching this. I hope you had a wonderful, wonderful Easter, and um, it's just awesome. He is risen. He is risen indeed. So I hope you had a wonderful Easter, and I tell you what, we're ready to get back into um, learning a little math online. So um, this lesson is for Tuesday, April 14th, um, and we're going to look at some of geometric series using sigma notation. Now let me show you what this looks like on Delta Math. Okay, there it is right there. We're going to do the fifth one down, sum of geometric series using sigma notation. We've already done um, the sum of arithmetic series using sigma notation. Now we're going to do geometric series using sigma notation. So here we go. Take out your math notebook. Let's just get this started and go ahead and write that down. Okay, so the sum of a geometric series using sigma notation. Remember sigma notation. So um, number one, I'm just going to do the sum from n equals 1 to 4 of 3 times 2 to the n minus 1. Okay? So now, if I put in n equals 1, I have... 3 times 2, so I'm putting in, I'm starting with my lower limit, n equals 1. So I have 3 times 2 to the 1 minus 1. Well, that's 3 times 2 to the 0. Remember that anything to the 0 power is 1. So that's just 3 times 1. So my first term is 3 plus, let's put in n equals 2. Now I have 3 times 2 to the 2 minus 1, again, because it's 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so I have 3 times 2 to the first. Well, 2 to the first is 2, so that's just 3 times 2, or 6. Plus, when I put in n equals 3, I have 3 times 2 to the 3 minus 1. So that's 3 times 2 to the second. Well, 2 to the second, remember always do exponents first, 2 to the second is 4, so that's 3 times 4, or 12. Plus, when I put n in, n equals 4. We have 3 times 2 to the 4 minus 1, so that's 3 times 2 to the 3rd, so that's 3 times 2 to the 3rd is 8. So 3 times 8 is 24. Okay, so we've got 3, 6, 12, 24. I started with my lower limit, n equals 1, and I stopped with my upper limit, n equals 4. So I'm just going to add those together. Now again, you can do that mentally, or you can use a calculator. I'm going to illustrate using a calculator. I don't want to make any silly arithmetic error here. So 3 plus 6 is 9, plus 12, plus 24, and we get a sum of 45. So that's our answer for that. Notice that this generated a geometric sequence. This is a geometric sequence with a ratio of 2. Notice you're always multiplying by 2. And notice that right here, this 2 is our common ratio. So we have a ratio of 2. Okay, that didn't show up very well. I'll try this using this marker. We have a common ratio of r equals 2. And notice that in parentheses we have a 2 right there. Okay, now keeping this in mind, this is going to help us find the sum of larger um, geometric series, larger than four terms. Okay, so number two. Suppose I'm asked to find the sum from n equals 0 to 83 of 4 times 1.08 to the n. Okay? Well, I'm going to want to find my first term, n equals 0. When I put in n equals 0, oops, sorry, I did that wrong. When I put in n equals 0, I have 4 times 1.08 to the 0. Well, that's 1, so 4 times 1 is 4. Plus, when I put in n equals 1, I have 4 times 1.08 to the first. So 4 times 1.08, 4 times, whoops, 4 times 1.08 is 4.32. 4 
So my next term is 4.32. Now I'm going to put in n equals 2. So I have 4 times 1.08 to the second. Okay? Now 1.08 to the second, 1.08 to the second is 1.1664. 1.1664, I'm going to times that by 4, and I get 4.6656 plus dot dot dot. And then I'm going to go to my last term. I'm going to plug in n equals 83. So I have 4 times 1.08 to the 83rd term. So, I'm sorry, to the 83rd power. So 1.08 to the 83rd power, okay, I get 594, 594.53, I'm going to round it to two decimal places, times that by 4, and I get 2378.1. Okay, now we can see that this is geometric and the common ratio, we're always multiplying by 1.08. This is our common ratio. And you can verify that if you want by taking the second term divided by the first. Remember, we can always find the ratio doing that. So if I do, so I'm going to verify by taking my second term, 4.32, divided by my first term, 4, and I get 4.32 divided by 4, and I get 1.08. Okay, now, this would be a lot of terms to add up. So what I'm going to use is the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series. Remember, the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series is... The numerator is a sub 1 times 1 minus r to the n all over 1 minus r. So here, actually all we need is n is the number of terms, r is the common ratio, and a sub 1 is the first term. Notice for this formula, we don't even need that last term. But I just went ahead and found it so you could understand that the series does end at that point. Okay, so I'm going to use this formula to find the sum of this, um, of this problem. So S sub, now the number of terms, is, so N in this case is... 83 minus 0, which is 83, and then plus 1 because it's inclusive. So in this case, I have 84 terms. So S sub 84 is the first term right here, 4, times 1 minus my ratio, 1.08 to the 84th, all over 1 minus 1.08. Okay, now I kind of like to do this in steps. So, oops, wrong one. <laughs> I went to grab that. I meant to grab my calculator. Okay, I'm going to do the numerator. I'm first going to do 1 minus 1 1.08 to the 84th. So here we go. 1 minus 1 1.08 to the 84th power. And I get that. Now I'm going to times that by 4. And I get that. Now I'm going to divide by parentheses. Use parentheses around this denominator. Divided by 1 minus 1.08. Close parentheses equals. Okay. We end up with 32,054. 
Okay, now let's just double check on Delta Math what they want you to round it to. 